Good day, my friends. This time, I wanted to entertain you uh, regarding one of uh, the most precious uh, materials in the history of pen making, pen manufacturing, which is, uh, I think we, we will all agree, uh, celluloid. I am particularly fond of uh, this material because it's uh, part of the history of the fountain pen, especially in Italy. You probably all know that uh, here in Italy the production of celluloid has been uh, the center of, uh, of, the, of the pen industry for many, many years. This, in the last uh, years, uh, a lot of you have become aware of, the, of this material, of the beauty of this resin uh, that is uh, a natural resin, it's, it's an organic resin instead of the classic plastic chemical resins that we, uh, the acrylic resin that we all know that have actually born to um, pretend to be celluloid, to simulate uh, the look of the celluloid but they never, even if uh, uh, and very recently they have become all more and more perfect but they simulate but they don't get till the dip the depth uh, that you achieve with the celluloid with the mixture the, the chemical mixture of celluloid so here you can see I have chosen some stipula pens to show you one of the best Italian celluloid pens from my point of view uh, I'll take the champagne one, which is amazingly beautiful. Look at the depth and the pattern of this uh, stunning celluloid. These are all uh, vintage celluloid. For vintage, I mean that they are celluloid produced in the 80s. Because the pity is that nowadays celluloid is not produced anymore. Basically, it depends on the cost that uh, a company should, uh, uh, should afford to, to, to create celluloid. Because the, the production, uh, the line of production of this material is long, uh, costly, and um, it has to be handled so carefully. So that's why, because uh, that's the, um, this is the uh, the center of this discussion that I wanted to uh, to point to you all. Why? Because many of you have asked me many times why celluloid costs so much and why the price is increasing every time, every year, a little bit more. I'll tell you my opinion then you can agree or not. Uh, basically it depends on the fact that celluloid it's, uh, um, it, it uh, needs a lot of time to be uh, turned. To create a barrel of celluloid you have first to decide the colors, then the mixture of components, then you have to, after the barrels are made, you have to season them because it's a material that changes with the time, with the pressure, with temperature and with the exposure to light. So you have to season it very carefully for uh, at least uh, one year to get the stability, to have the, the, the celluloid being stabilize, stabilized for the future. Then you have to keep them, to be seasoned, you have to keep them in, in the um, ovens at, uh, a, uh, at least uh, 40 degrees for at least six months to get it seasoned very well. So the process is very long and after that you have to check the material, see if it achieved uh, the, the color, the depth and the, and the season that you uh, wanted it to be. And then you, after this process you have to start turning it. When you turn it you have to handle it with the gloves 
because at this stage, at this first stage of turning and production, whatever um, um, sign, even with the, even with just uh, fingers, you put on on the on the pan, it's very hard then to remove. So uh, this is uh, the process that is very long, as I said. Then there is the, the dangers of handling such a pen, such a material, because the, the mixture, the chemical mixture of these pens is uh, uh, basically with nitroglycerin and camphor, which is very uh, inflammable, as you all know. So uh, the requirements to the companies that used to produce celluloid were uh, now uh, in uh, in our days, where the of course the security for the for the workers it's much more taken in care as it should be. Uh, now the rules and the laws are so strict that a lot of pen companies, quite all the pen companies, has decided to uh, give up producing celluloid. Especially, you can see in the history of pens, we have uh, started with uh, the German companies, Mont Blanc, Pelican, uh, Schaeffer, uh, Parker, all used to uh, produce pens in beautiful celluloids. I'll show you the pen open while I speak to entertain you. And uh, so, they don't do it anymore, except the only remaining uh, companies that still produce, still make pens in celluloid are the Italian ones because we have in our heart of ours to with this material we are very fond of this material, we love it but of course we are always talking of vintage celluloid I repeat, vintage I mean it's not something that has been produced now it's just barrels in stock of these companies that are coming out, being seasoned again and uh, try to uh, be uh, turned into pants, beautiful pants like this one I'm handling now. So this is why basically these pants are so costly, are so overpriced if you want to call like that or, or the price is so high because we, it's like uh, an ancient monument I would say. It's something that you will never get again. Uh, once these pieces will be finished I hardly think that there will ever be a company or someone uh, so crazy to start a production of celluloid anew. And especially, even if it, this person should come, I hardly believe that he, he will get the knowledge and the know-how to get to these beautiful materials again at this same high level of craftsmanship. And now, after this uh, long speech, I hope I've not tired you. Oh, look, I'm I'm uh, I'm amazed looking at this uh, image here because it's 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 incredible how beautiful it is the depth of this material. Anyway, let's talk about stipula. Uh, the one I have in my hand, which is uh, I'm talking to you, it's the one that makes uh, the steel has has a treasure and the treasure with some barrels of this splendid celluloid. This is a very artisanal company uh, that also very recently has started a production of its own nibs that is something very, uh, uh, very unusual and very complicated for any pen company. There are very few that uh, are able to make their own nibs. This production has started due to the acquisition of uh, old vintage machines that used to make uh, nibs in the very uh, in the past i mean in the 50s 40s that's why uh, they have uh, they have uh, achieved this level and uh, so we have you can see here we are uh, looking at it for a long for a long time uh, while i speak to the amazing i would say uh, stipula size 6 solid gold nib that can be made in 18 or 14 carats. This nib, equipped with the ABS feeder, is produced by Stipula in uh, different sizes, of course, that range from ultra fine 
extra fine, fine, medium, broad, stub uh, 0 0.9 and stub 1.1. Let me show you another beautiful celluloid that is very famous from Stipula. It's uh, the Alter Ego orange color which is amazing as well as the champagne that we have been looking at uh, before and uh, so let's try one of these beautiful nips that are called stiflex because they have uh, a springiness uh, about they are a little bit bouncy the, I, I would not dare to call it flex like they used to uh, be in the past but uh, it's a very enjoyable nib so let, let's let's try one to have a taste of it. Here we have uh, this should be the fine one. Let's dip into this nice sepia stipula ink. So this uh, here we are trying we are trying the season the Etruria. The famous let me put my glasses because I'm not young anymore. Etruria faceted Champagne Celluloid Collection. It's an octagonal base shape pen. Collection, it's, uh, it's not the right word for this pen because they are producing a very limited number. Um, and I will be having some of these uh, um, um, in, the, in September. Uh, some very special ones that uh, I'm not going to reveal now to you. But just that uh, these are amazingly amazingly well crafted pens something unique this is uh, made in Italy at the very best some of you will will uh, not agree to this fact someone is not so keen to artisanal pens they prefer a, a very um, perfect stylish pants but this is something that you will never get one it's not equal to the other and the nib as i told you it's a kind of flexi you can get some very nice line variation like this from this wonderful nibs so this is a fine you can get extra fine and other measures and both uh, 14 and 18 carat. So keep on looking at us. We will show you in the next future some very, some great treasures of celluloid because uh, me, Stefano, uh, that uh, you are now know very well, I'm, uh, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm, I've always been attracted to, to this material um, my colleagues, uh, uh, even Patricia that is taking this video for me, is always told me why you love celluloid, why you always pick of celluloid, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, this is my favorite material, when I started making my own collections for the shop, the exclusive collection for the shop, celluloid has always been my first choice, so uh, till this material will be still available in the stock uh, in the old stocks of uh, Italian companies, you will keep on seeing me proposing these pens, even if they are so, so uh, very expensive. So, my friends, uh, see you next time. This is all for uh, for this uh, weekend. I send you my regards, and uh, of course, don't forget that celluloid pants are so beautiful. Ciao.